I'm going to show you how to set up Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager and install it on your website so that you can track your clicks, engagement and conversions and therefore make more informed decisions about your marketing. So the first place you have to come to is google.com slash analytics. Now, if you already have a G Suite account or a Gmail account, you will be able to sign in up here by clicking on analytics. If you don't yet have any of the Google accounts, you have to set up a Google account first and then you'll be able to set up an analytics account afterwards. So I've already signed in, so I'm going to jump right on over. So this is the page you're going to come to when you sign in if you don't already have an analytics account. The first thing you're going to need to put in is your account name. So that would just be your business name or your initiative name, um, product name, etc. So in this case, this analytics account is for our Click Engage Convert Conference. So that is the name I'm going to put in. I'm also going to copy that for the website name. And then you need to put in the URL. Now, the next thing you have to do is select your industry category. And the reason that they ask for this is for Google's internal purposes, but also it allows them to create industry benchmarks, which can be very helpful. So we're in the business and industrial markets. Then make sure that you set your time zones so that the reporting is going to be in sync with your time zone. So we're in Australia and we are on Melbourne time. Data sharing settings, we're happy just to leave these all, but if you're concerned about anything, make sure to click and read the privacy policy and they've also got more information on how they safeguard your data. So the next step is to get our tracking ID. Now you have to agree to the terms of service. Um, so you have to select your country. That's because there's going to be slightly different terms of services depending on the country and their local legislation. Um, this here is new. This is all about GDPR compliance. So you want to make sure you check that. And if you don't know about GDPR um, compliance, you can learn more about that here. And select this one here. And then I accept. So now that we have got our tracking code, the next thing we're going to do is set up our Google Tag Manager where we'll be able to install our tracking code. Now, the reason we recommend Google Tag Manager is it's basically an all-in-one solution that's going to allow you to install one code once. And then after that, you can install any tracking code like the Facebook pixel code or if you're email marketing platform has a tracking code, you can install that all in Google Tag Manager and that will automatically deploy it onto your website for you. So you'll need to jump over to tagmanager.google.com and again, log in if they prompt you to do that and it should bring you up to a page that looks like this. Now, we want to keep our account names the same as what we set up for Google Analytics for consistency. And then again, select your country. And then continue. Contain a name. Um, I would also just keep that as click engage convert. Um, so what Google Tag Manager calls their code that then encompasses all the other tracking codes you're going to have in there is the container. So this is a container we're using on your website. So you need to select web and then hit create. And again, they're going to get us to go through all of this stuff and accept.
So now that we've set that up, it's prompted us to install the tag manager um, code. So what you then need to do is log into your WordPress website and you want to navigate to plugins. So let me walk you through it from the beginning. So when you come to plugins, actually let's go directly to, you can go add new here or add new up here. And then you want to search for the insert headers and footers plugin. Now this will allow you to install this on any WordPress website. Now many WordPress themes have um, an option to insert code into the header footers. So by all means, check with your theme, but this is compatible with any WordPress theme. So this is the one we want. It's by WP Beginner. You can see over 400,000 people have downloaded it. So, um, you know, this is a rep reputable one. So we want to install that. And then activate. Then we need to find it in the settings and insert header footers. Now back to Google Tag Manager. So the first code, it says place this in the head section. So we want to copy this and then we come back to our plugin scripts in header. So that is where we're going to place this one. Now here it says, please place this immediately after the body tag. So this says scripts in footer, but what that actually means is it's going to be anything before the closing body tag. So this is where we want to put that one in as well. And then we want to click save. Now we'll go back into here and click OK. Now, if at any point you need to get that code for some other reason, you can just click on here and it's going to pop up again. So this is your new Google Tag Manager code. Now, the next thing I want to do is make sure it's all correctly installed on the website. So just hit this preview button. Now it's in previewing workspace mode. So when we go to view the web page, a Google Tag Manager thing will pop up here. So this has popped up, so we know it's installed. We can see our code there. Now this is what your container looks like from the front end. Now don't worry, when you're out of preview mode, people are not going to see this when they come to your website. So now we can close this plugin page and go back into Tag Manager. We want to leave preview mode because now we want to install our Google Analytics code. Now to do that, we need to go add new tag. Now you want to call this tag GA for Google Analytics, page views, and then all. The next thing we click on is tag configuration. And in this case, because we've set up a new Google Analytics account, it will definitely be a universal analytics uh, code. It's only if you have a really old one that you're going to have this old code. So this is going to be the one you select. Um, track type page view correct, select settings variable. We need to create a new variable and we need to get our tracking ID. So to do that, we just copy this UA code here and we paste that in there. We just want to leave this on auto and save. Um, let's call this 
GA um, Universal Analytics Code and save. And then save again. Now we're going to add a trigger. This is going to tell when Google Analytics needs to fire. So when it needs to trigger a page view, so all pages, that's correct. So we just select that. So that means every time someone views a page, it's going to trigger a page view in your Google Analytics account. And hit save. Now we want to preview that again. So we can check that that Google Analytics tag is now installed in our Tag Manager container. So if we go back to our website and refresh the page, we can now see the GA page view tag is firing on all pages. So that's all you have to do to install Google Analytics on your website through Tag Manager. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Facebook pixel in Google Tag Manager as well.